Welcome back guys to my channel. So today I have a special video for you like the most requested video right now about the um, parole form I-134A. So um, without further ado, let's get to it. So, so for this category, we're going to talk about the USS, the first notice you're going to receive. So the first notice, um, what's going to be in the notice? Let's take a quick look at the notice so um, we all can have a clear idea, you know, what's in it. So uh, the first notice, the USS will ask you to create an email account. This is the beneficiary. This is the email account. This is the, the US, USS account for the beneficiary to confirm where they live and then confirm that they have received COVID vaccine. Um, and then uh, what is, so this form has, this form will expire. So you have to do this within 90 days. So under the, your, uh, the USCIS at, um, profile, you're going to create our, our account. So um, the beneficiary will be able to, um, to add all the information so uh, to this security travel authorization that we requested using the CBP app and then as you can see on the screen that person was granted was approved to travel to the US so once you're approved to travel you have 90 days to travel to the US or this form going to be expired once it's expired you cannot travel you cannot come we have to reapply for you but um, we have to do that, you know, within three months, 90 days. So come to the U.S. And then um, the next step will be one is to buy the ticket for the beneficiary so that person can travel to the United States. And then um, we're going to purchase the ticket for you. We'll call you, give you the ticket number so you can um, pack your bag and then um, Make sure you, you arrive at the airport two hours early so you can come come to the U.S. So when you get to the border, that means um, not, I mean, once you get to the U.S. or the port of entry, excuse me, um, you go, they're going to ask you a lot of questions. So all the questions they're going to ask is everything that you provided on the application to make sure that all the application, everything you entered uh, um, was correct and then what's accurate and then um, once you do that they're gonna check everything check your passport check you in and then um, you will be in the US already so we have to pick you up you know I don't know on which airport so it can be New York you know Florida you know Texas um, it depends you know but um, yeah so it, it's a, it's an easy process so this process can take um, you know up to three four months but um, from what I've seen here, people are coming here pretty quick. And, and again, um, as you can see, we have people that already came with this process. So this is a great uh, 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 um, process, great time, great opportunity to sponsor someone to come to the US. If you guys can do it, do it. So um, thank you for watching, thank you for your likes, um, thank you for comments, thank you for sharing my videos. Um, I